Oh, sorry, nandiyan pala kayo. Hello again, May 10. I'm planning to save money today, starting from 20 pesos. Then I decided to add 5 pesos every day. Hmm, how much will I have in a month? In 240 days? In a year? Yes, exciting, right? Mm. Wow! It's a good habit that you are saving a little extra of your money. Much better if you have a savings account or kahit piggy bank or Pringles bank. Because you'll never know when emergency comes that you need something important to buy or to donate. At least you have your resources. Last time we have a lot of explorations on figure sequences, right? Counting the number of matchsticks, number of squares, number of dots, etc. Today we will be focusing on number sequences. Are you ready? Let's go. Wait, wait, wait. Before I forget. First activity, let us have this uh, number sequence. 1, 4, 7, 10, 13, 16, 19, blank. What will be the next number after 19? Of course, it's 22. And why do you say so? Yes, we just keep on adding 3 each time. So our interval, or we call this the common difference, is 3. This is a linear function because the first difference is a constant and this is a special kind of sequence called arithmetic sequence or arithmetic progression. So if I ask you, what is the 20th number? You have two options, remember? You can keep on adding 3 manually until you reach the 20th number or perform the technique that I taught you last time, teleportation. No but. Pero ba Pero ba Charger. Oh, no. Because we have a common difference 3, we can use this right away as a multiplier to n. So our initial expression is 3n. Let's check the first number. Let us verify if our expression works. If n is 1, we have 3 times 1. Is it equal to the first number? No, it's not. How about the second number? If n is 2, that is 3 times 2, is it equal to 4? No. If n is 3, 3 times 3 is not 7. And if n is 4, 3 times 4 is not 10. So what have we noticed? We exceeded 2. Sobra tayo ng dalawa. No? So we have to adjust by subtracting 2. So expression becomes 3n minus 2. Therefore, the n term or the general term is 3n minus 2. We can now jump at the 20th number. 3 times 20 minus 2 is 58. I have another technique. Shh, atin atin lang to, okay? Because this is a linear function, using y equals mx plus b, our common difference 3 becomes the slope m right away. To find the y-intercept b, let's make our x equal to 0. How can we do this? We simply move backward. If we are adding 3 to move forward, now we have to subtract 3 to move backward until we reach the 0th place. 19 minus 3 equals 16, minus 3 equals 13, minus 3, 10, minus 3, 7, minus 3, 4, minus 3 equals 1. Minus 3 equals negative 2. Negative 2 is at the 0th place, making it the y-intercept. Therefore, our n term is 3n minus 2. Legendary! Guys, there's another formula that looks different, but if we simplify it, it's still the same. We can generate this formula using patterns. Going back to our given, 1, 4, 7, 10, 13, 16, 19, and so on. Each number here is called a term. 1 is the first term, 4 is the second term, and so on. We can label them as a sub 1, a sub 2, and so on, until we reach any position that we want to teleport as a sub n. 
And our common difference 3 can be labeled as D. Now we can generate the pattern starting from A sub 1 equals 1. Next is A sub 2. How did we arrive at 4? We simply add 3 as our common difference to 1, right? How about A sub 3? We add again 3 to A sub 2, right? Then add 3 to A sub 3 and so on. Can you see the pattern? Let's clean this up to have our general formula. Because 3 is our common difference D, we can change all 3's to D's. Now we can add all these algebraically. Wait, actually the starting term A sub 1 must be 1 plus 0 D because we don't add 3 here yet. So we have A sub 1 equals 1 plus 0 D. Next, A sub 2 equals 1 plus 1 D. A sub 3 is equal to 1 plus 2 D and so on. Wow, nice, we're almost there. Because 1 is the first term A sub 1, we can change all this to A sub 1. Now we can derive the general formula of an arithmetic sequence column by column. Therefore, A sub n or any position that you want to teleport is equal to, by the way, these are n's, A sub 1 plus. Now look at this column of numbers. Compare this column with the numbers under column n. Do you see the relationship? 1 minus 1 equals 0, 2 minus 1 equals 1, 3 minus 1 equals 2, and so on. This column of numbers is just n minus 1 all the time, right? And finally, multiplied by d. That's it. Therefore, our general formula is a sub n equals a sub 1 plus the quantity n minus 1 times d. Because a sub 1 equals 1 and d equals 3, we can substitute their actual values as shown below. Distribute 3 to n minus 1, so that will be 1 plus 3n minus 3. Combining 1 and negative 3 becomes a sub n equals 3n minus 2. The same equation with y equals mx plus b. So the unified general formula or the n term of an arithmetic sequence is a sub n, the position that you want to teleport, equals the given first term a sub 1 plus subtract 1 from your desired position, that is n minus 1, and multiply it to your common difference value d. Boom! You are there. Teleport completed. Now we try this using the formula. Given the number sequence 18, 22, 26, 30, 34, and so on, what is the 15th term? Of the arithmetic sequence. How about this one? Insert four numbers or terms between 15 and 45. We call these missing terms as arithmetic means or the missing terms in between known terms. So using the formula, substitute our first term 15 and our common difference. Wait, we don't have the second term. How can we get D? Hmm. Can you figure this out? I'll give you one minute to think about this. The time is up. Did you figure out to find D? You can still use the formula to find it. It's a matter of formula transformation. Just substitute all the available values, A sub 1 equals 15, A sub 6 equals 45. We can use A sub 6 as our A sub n. So n equals 6. Substitute this to our formula and do the formula transformation using properties of equality to get your D. 
Therefore, D equals 6. Now, you can get the arithmetic means by adding 6 from the first term until you complete all the missing terms.